Well, a new mascot name will be coming to Canton High School after the school board voted to retire the controversial Chiefs name. But many parents and alums sounded off at tonight's meeting in hopes of keeping it. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass shows us how the issue has stirred up quite the debate. Brett? Well, here at Canton High School, you'll see signs like this that have an arrowhead and say home of the Chiefs. But after tonight, that's no longer the case. Please do not change this name. Lots of public comment centered on a school mascot and logo. Despite pushback, the ultimate decision was made to retire the Canton Chiefs name and Arrowhead logo. I love where I was born and raised. I plan to raise my own family here in the future, and I'd love if my future child was a Canton Chief. The decision, the result of years of discussion and requests by some students who felt the name was offensive to Native Americans. A committee ultimately made the recommendation, and the board approved it. A vote met with anger by many who crowded the small meeting room. Can hockey team is 100% funded by parents. The cost for them to replace their uniforms and gear will be a huge deficit to these families. The chief's name had been in place for decades with the Arrowhead logo worn on shirts and found around school buildings and athletic facilities. The school complex is also shared by Plymouth and Salem High School students. I unfortunately had to compete under the, Mar the Arrowhead mascot, which I always took to be a symbol of colonialism which was very, very clear and very, very near to my family background. Many with Native American heritage also spoke, including a district alum who found the chief's name and logo offensive. There were very few other non-white folks in the entire community, and it was incredibly horrifying to, be, to have to compete and face that every day. But others with Native American heritage, also with kids in the district, spoke in favor of the logo, wanting it to remain. I personally, as a Native person, find them actually very honorable and respectful. It's, it's not like the Cleveland Indians Chief Wahoo, a caricature, or anything like that. If you take these things away, the memory of the great American Indian will continue to fade away. Although the majority of comments and survey responses wanted the name and logo to remain, the decision was made, and Canton High School will now have to find a new name. They have a right to have to not have to deal with this mascot anymore. It's a simple mascot. It is so easy to change. It's unclear how soon a new logo or mascot will be created, but the school board says they want Canton students to be at the center of that process. In Canton, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.